Okay, let's uh, carry on now. We'll, uh, we'll install a new uh, filter capacitor to replace the one that's shorted here. And since the expected voltage is pretty high, what was it? Was it uh, 270, 245? We'll put in a, uh, a fair size capacitor. Fair size in terms of voltage. Now it's supposed to be a 20. Um, I think I'm going to put in a 47. There shouldn't be any harm in that at all. In some ways, the bigger the better. Uh, the only drawback of a bigger capacitor in the power supply is the uh, inrush current when you first switch on the set. Now this this capacitor is beyond the 4 kV resistor here so there can't be any any inrush current. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is solder the ground side of this. Bring you up a little closer when I get. I'll do that right now. Why not? Okay, so there's the there's the ground point I'm going to go after. And I kind of want the capacitor up this way. Gravity is not my friend here. He's working against me. Sit, sit there. Sit there. Come on. Well, the camera is actually closer to the work than I am. I'm about another six inches further away. And uh, it's not easy to see exactly what's happening here. Come on. There we go. I have defeated gravity single-handedly. Well, I, I guess it really wasn't single-handedly, was it? I, I did have a pair of pliers in my hand, so... No, I don't want to... want to cut that. Let's get right in there. Okay, 
now on the positive lead, we want to put a little hose on that. I really have to do something about that. Although I suppose it's keeping you awake. I'm wondering when the next time is you're going to go off the cliff. positive wire out here. So here's one wire that's going to connect to it. And the other wire. Yeah, it turns out these long wires are real handy. the high voltage wire. Yeah, see, it's not the best thing to have that floating like that. That's not the best thing. Okay. I think we're ready to operate the, the set again and see what happens. Check around. Everything looks good. Set is off. Power on uh, the limiter. And the voltage there, you can't quite read the scales. 124. Typically high. Let's, we'll watch the scale as it, as it powers up. Okay? So that's a percentage now. If you haven't seen my explanation of how this works. So that's 0%, that's 100%. So the 100% of the voltage is available at the end of that plug right now. Because I have a light bulb in series with the supply, as soon as I turn it on, some of the supply voltage is going to drop over the light bulb and the set is going to receive some lesser voltage and this will tell us what percentage is making it to the set. So here we go. Try to keep an eye on that light bulb too. So let's see if we can watch everything at once. Here we go. The light bulb's about the same as last time. We're in the 70% range going up. And we should see this drop as soon as the uh, plate current starts going there. It's going down now. So that shows us plate currents. It's quite low, 60% of the 65% of the supply voltage. So it might be too low, in fact, to operate. Let's see what we get. Let's hear it. So I think we're still on the. Uh, yeah, let's feed in the signal here. 
quiet. That's what we're feeding. So much so that for years, rumors of his death were circulating. While the rumors are just that, the Troubadour has released his seventh album called Us Alone. Sounds a little and this time distorted, doesn't it? The Toronto me, anyway. label that is now an international phenomena. Of course, we're on the, not on full voltage. Let's it's go to full Hayden voltage. Back, safe and sound and making great Down on the volume. Ready? Brr, full voltage. Ooh. Let's see what it sounds Everything. like. A lot better. Let's check the voltage on that capacitor. Turn that down. Two ninety. Okay, so on the other side of this. 290 and on the higher side, uh oh, 293, 293 on both sides. What? Uh, shouldn't be that good. Well, you know what? The high voltage may not be switched on to the other tubes while it's in this mode, while it's in auxiliary mode. So, Let's try that again. We're seeing two ninety-four. Okay, we'll turn on the radio here. Does not appear to be working. One ninety-six. One ninety-six. Down from two ninety. As a hundred volts have dropped somewhere. Oy, oy, oy. That's not too good. Let's try the, uh... Oh! Oh! How do you like that, eh? Oh my gosh, that's gone down to 90. Down to 90. Gotta think fast here, think fast. Quick. I gotta switch it back on current limiting. Do not like 90 volts. That's okay. Still working. The AM may not have worked because it has no antenna. <clears throat> the antenna I'm using is connected to the FM side. So if we jump right over to the AM, we may find that's working too. Now, what about this? Uh, Low, low voltage. Yikes. <clears throat> Let's verify it again. Wow. Let's go back to AM. Let's put an antenna on it. Can't imagine that that's correct, that voltage. Just jumpering the oh no 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 that's not the antenna. Here's the antenna up here. Okay, so there's now a external outdoor antenna on here. Not a thing. I'm going to turn the voltage up full again and uh, volume is full. What's that? I think that's FM leaking through. There's something. Signal of some sort. Right, 
don't want to leave it in this mode for very long because uh, whatever is pulling down that, well, you know what, maybe the voltage is being pulled down across the 4 kV resistor again. Let's just check and see that. 196. 280, 196, 196, didn't we see, uh, 196, yeah, it's got to be the same because it's the same piece of wire, 196, but if we go to auxiliary, go to auxiliary, we now see, 296 so that's 100 volts thrown away somewhere why would they design this to throw away that much voltage and uh, no AM maybe I'm spooked about nothing here Let it operate and see if something burns up. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. 270, 245, 160, and 150. Let's see if we can find the 160 and the 150. Okay, so the uh, 160, I should be able to find 160 on the uh, the original filter capacitor. So we'll go looking. Okay, that's plenty. That's a zero. Oh. That's a three nine thirty-nine ohm resistor to ground. Looks like ground there, yeah? Off of this pin. So this may be the ground pin for the capacitor. Okay, this pin 294 and this one 219 doesn't seem to be adding up at all, does it? Look again. Okay, so it should be uh, 270 on one side of that big resistor. Wow, it should be 270 on the far side of that resistor. It's not quite making sense to me. Higher voltage on the far side. 245. It doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. What am I looking at here? Two. I think I had, had my page out of, uh, you know, I'm looking at, I'm shifting this pages up and down, getting the wires wrong. So we put it like that, put it correctly, and you get 270 on the high side of the resistor, 245 on the low. 270 on, on the high voltage side. 290. Hmm. 290. <coughs> the radio back on. Two eighty seven, that should be two seventy. One ninety five, that should be two forty five. So it still looks like it's drawing too much current through something. And since the FM side is working, we can guess 
there's a problem in the AM side, <clears throat> probably a capacitor. So what I'll do is I'll study the schematic here and see if I can't come up with a logical way to proceed. We're, we're knocking them off one by one here. <clears throat> 